So because I was busy during the Anthem demo weekend, I didn't get the chance to play too much. I played like, I don't know, a fourth of what was maybe on offer, maybe even like a tenth. Like, I barely got to play it. But I did realize something. I was, I was thinking about what I liked and didn't like about Anthem, and what I saw so far was pretty negative. Honestly, the frame rate was terrible, and the mission structure that you first run into was heavily reminiscent of like Destiny 1 stuff. And so, I was coming up with some things in my head, and I realized I was leaning more towards negativity, but I thought I could write down all my negative opinions and then kind of, you know, bring it around to what I like about the game and what I want for the game. When it comes to Anthem, I don't know if it's going to be a game I pick up at launch or I pick up later when it goes on sale or if I just don't pick up at all. Then later, I was going through my comment section and then later I was live streaming and in both my stream chat and in my comment section, I noticed there was a lot of people that were mad that I was being negative. And I've mentioned this on this channel before, and I'm not going to go into why I do negative videos or anything like that. This isn't that kind of video. But this video is about the fact that I hope I really like Anthem, and I hope I really like the next Call of Duty, and I hope I like whatever happens to Battlefield 5, and I really hope that I like games, because, and this is gonna sound like I'm pointing the finger across the aisle, but I feel like there are certain YouTube channels out there that have become so infected with negativity in a way where it doesn't even seem like anything can win. Now, they're not always fully negative, because that would be pretty, you know, pretty heavy-handed, but they seem to be primarily negative. And it's like nothing, and like I said, like nothing can win with these people. Doesn't matter what Activision or EA or Ubisoft or whatever whatever company does, they're wrong. And these kind of game criticism channels have kind of run rampant and gotten really popular. And I think it's created the common consensus of, you know, this game's dead or this game's bad or you're not supposed to play this, you're not supposed to pre-order that, you're not supposed to purchase that thing, you're not supposed to play this for that long, you're supposed to boycott this. And I think that's a problem in and of itself. I've made a whole video about that, which was my Clean Prince Gaming and Downward Thrust video, where I just bludgeoned a horse to death by saying that, you know, they created a common consensus. They push forward this very negative, very biased, and sometimes very ill-informed common consensus. And I feel like critical video game channels should be more personal than anything else. I love watching people tear into why Fallout New Vegas is actually a bad game, because on the off chance that they've actually made a well-informed video where they, they're sharing their opinions, and they're sharing what they've found and why they think certain gameplay mechanics are contradictory or unnecessary or annoying, and I feel like that's fine. I'm okay with being negative. Hell, there's gonna be videos that come out about Kingdom Hearts 3, a game I'm incredibly excited for. And people are going to talk about it in a way that's not so savory. For every two Kingdom Hearts fans that like it, there's going to be a Kingdom Hearts fan that doesn't, or even just a normal gamer that doesn't like the game and is going to tear into it. And that's okay with me. I'm okay with people tearing into games that I like, as long as it doesn't seem like their entire purpose on YouTube, and this is kind of the, the main point of this video, is that if it feels like their entire purpose on YouTube is to tear into games and developers and publishers and talk about everything that's wrong with gaming, all the time, it just kind of feels like they're not sharing their personal problems. They're just, they just don't like those games. The fact that there are YouTubers out there that haven't liked Call of Duty in years. They haven't liked any aspect of Call of Duty for years and they continue to talk about how much they don't like it. I don't see any value in that and it's definitely hurt my channel because the thing is about my channel is that I, I'm, I try to go in with an open mind. I'm more pessimistic and I'm punished for that. Because the average person watches my video, they hear me being negative, they hear me saying that I don't like these aspects of this game, or I think this game sucks in this respect, they start hearing that, and if they're sick of these channels that have focused every ounce of themselves to negativity, then they'll just throw me into that pile as well. And so I hope I really love Anthem in the end, because I'd hate to make a video saying this game's boring, this game is repetitive, this game's poorly optimized, this game is shallow, I'd hate to have to do that. I really fucking would because I want to like games. I used to want to like games because that meant I was enjoying the game, but now I have another reason. I want to like games because I don't want to be tossed in as just being another negative voice in the community. People come to my Black Ops 4 videos and call me a hater because they didn't go back to my previous videos during the beta where I listed the problems I had and I said that I'd have problems with the game if these things aren't fixed before the launch. And then the launch came around. And I basically made a video that was a message to the COD players that watch my channel and the COD community in general where I said slow down and take in the game for a couple months before criticizing. And I waited 
couple months, and then I started my criticisms because I noticed that their patches weren't fixing these things people were talking about. They were buffing certain weapons and specialist abilities that I didn't think needed buffs. They weren't nerfing the things I thought needed to be nerfed, and so my complaints started to come out, and when they added the specialist zero, I kind of lost my shit on the game a little bit. And then they reworked Zero and accentuated what I believe the problem with her is. So it was kind of a process. And so it's annoying when people come into my videos are like, wow, this dude's a negative asshole. It's like, you don't watch my channel. Fair enough. And I don't expect you to watch through all of my Black Ops 4 videos to realize that I've come to this conclusion through trial and error. And the reason I really don't blame these people is that what else are they going to expect? YouTube has been overrun when it comes to the gaming scene with really heavily hyperbolic anti-establishment YouTubers that want to tear down and criticize and ridicule everything about everything that's anything. Nothing is sacred, everything is bad, and there is only a handful of games that are socially acceptable to play in these types of communities. One of the things that kept me out of the Rainbow Six Siege community for so long was how many times I would get comments back when Siege was like really getting big. I get so many comments on my YouTube videos saying, stop playing this stupid game and come play Siege. Stop playing this retarded game and come play Siege. Stop playing Call of Duty and Battlefield, come play Siege. And I've just hated this for a while. So, so bringing this tangent around to an actual point, I'm in fear of not liking Anthem because I'm going to be honest if I don't. There are some people that are super eager for Anthem, they have already pre-ordered, they're incredibly excited, they're loving the demo, they want to get into the lore and the storytelling, they've devoted so much of their time and life to this brand new franchise we've never seen anything of, and you know, they're just happy because, well, it's Bioware, and that's great, I love Bioware. Some people are reacting to Anthem the way I react to Kingdom Hearts 3, and I've been waiting 13 years for Kingdom Hearts 3. That series is ingrained in my childhood, it means the world to me, and people are treating Anthem, an MMO light game, that we really know nothing about. Because MMO light games live and die by their updates and their end game content, so we really know nothing about this game. And so for those people that are incredibly excited, they're not going to like anything negative I have to say. And for those people that are tired of all of this, what I believe to be forced negativity on YouTube, they're not going to like what I have to say if I'm being negative. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll notice that in the last couple of months, in the last, I say last half year, last eight months, I've been trying to be more balanced. I don't want to come off as hypercritical. I want to be critical. I don't want to come off as hyperbolic. I just want to be normalbolic. I don't want you guys to think that I'm eager to make this game sucks videos because although I'm very persnickety, especially with FPS games, I'm still not a pro player. I'm not an expert. I don't get three KDs in any of the shooters I play. I just have a channel where I share my opinions, and since I'm kind of picky, my opinions are often not positive. I'm also just a pessimistic person in general. I know this about myself, and I think this is the problem with the current state of critical gaming videos on YouTube. You have so many people that have dedicated their channels to tearing apart, criticizing, overanalyzing, and just kind of shitting all over anything the gaming industry does, especially the AAA industry. To conclude this video, I would like to be scared of hating Anthem because hating a video game is one of my least favorite things. I want more games that I love, not more games that frustrate me and you know lose me after a couple of months of playtime. I would love more games that I love, but currently, I want to love the game because I don't want to be thrown into a category of YouTuber that I personally don't really like. And I would hate to think there's other YouTubers out there, big or small, that are just hoping that they don't get thrown into that category. So when the open demo comes out, I'm going to give it a try, I'm going to capture some more gameplay with it, and I am going to try to give Anthem an actual review. I'm going to try to actually talk about how I feel about Anthem, and I hope I love it and not for the reason I want to. See you when I see you guys. Goodbye.